Hello DIYers! Welcome to our next DIY e-bike project. Okay, one of our previous DIY e-bike project runs a 350 watts controller. Today we're gonna upgrade the e-bike controller. Can a bigger controller really speed up our e-bike? Let's give it a try and DIY it. But before, please subscribe our channel and like it if even if you don't like it. On the top of the screen, we can see the 1000 watts Humi 3-in-1 controller versus on the bottom our old 350 watts controller. So let's take a closer look. The specs of the Humi 3-in-1 show us a higher value compared to the Honor's controller. Minimum 41 volts drives the controller while it takes an average of 48 till 60 volts. The motor can soak up to 33 amps and it got few extra features which we don't go in the depth. The smaller Honda controller is a 350 watts powered by 60 till 48 volts but it provides only 7 till 8 amps and no extra feature compared to the Humi 3-in-1 controller. The controller powered our 250 watts model. What? Oh my gosh! The next part is our battery system for powering the motor. We need to build up the suitable battery pack. We're gonna go with a 224 volts battery pack. Oh my gosh! It looks like a Frankenstein battery pack system. When everything is installed and done, let's give it a try. Will it work? In our opinion, the bike is not speed up faster by the controller upgrade because it got a speed limit of 30 kmh by the controller and our motor got only 250 watts. That affects the top speed of the motor. We got the feeling we could go faster with the 350 watts controller because the speed wasn't limited. So, conclusion is, it's up to the setup of the battery pack and the motor and the e-bike controller. Most of the controller limits the speed nowadays, but of course you can build up a faster e-bike by a more powerful motor. Be aware if this allowed to be on the road with your DIY e-bike. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like the video and leave your thoughts in the comment sections. See you soon and stay tuned!